Yo, what's up guys, so we're back with another video and today we're gonna tell you guys about our sleep paralysis experiences. So Carla has one that she always brings up. All the time. And then I have one too. Okay, so before we get started, we just wanna thank and give a big shout out to Pop Sockets for sponsoring this video. They're actually from Pop Sockets, but these are swappable grips. So Carla has like a, she has like a it's black. A diamondy one. It's like a black diamondy one. And mine's like a flat black because I, I wanted to find one that matched the back of my phone. This is something that I've actually really, really used. Um, Carla's brother uses it every day. All the time. Carla actually just got hers, so mm -hmm. she's starting out. But like, it really does help. Like, you could be laying in the bed, like, and it won't fall on and top it of your won't head. Fall. If you have a bigger phone, especially when you're holding it, it, it like lets you really, you know, you know. It's really, really helpful, and I'm not like joking at yeah, all. Taking pictures definitely helps. Definitely for selfies too. And selfies, you could be like. like Oh, like we said, these are swappable grips, so like you're not just stuck with this one. We're gonna show you how these work and how you actually swap them out. Okay. So you push it down, push down and turn to the left and or counterclockwise. And <laughs> well, didn't come out. Yeah. Okay, I got it out. <laughs> so basically it looks like this and causes like that. And then we could actually switch, but I'll give you mine. And then you'll take, I'll take this one, because this is more like a diamond one. I like this one better anyway. Wow. Um, so it's really easy. And if you guys like different colors, we have a bunch. There's a lot. There's like a rose gold. It's really pretty. There's like, what is this? Galaxy? Marble? That's marble. Marble. Another black one. Glittery ones, like for girls. There's also like a Here. checkboard. Um, There's just so many. This is like a textured one. It feels like um, a shirt, like a flannel or something. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. there's a bunch of different ones. There's a lot. But we're gonna show you how to swap them out still. So you take your swappable grip, you line it up with these little like notches in here, and then you go just put it back on and then you turn it. And then it's good. And then you're good to go. There you it got is. it? And then you open it up. And now you're back to making selfies, you're back to taking selfies, you're back if to. If you wanna especially texting. if you um sometimes, you know, when you switch phone cases or whatever, and you wanna like mm -hmm. a different design or something. Yeah. So you can match your style, you can match your phone color, you can match your phone case. We wanted to make sure we showed you guys the swappable grips because I'm sure like, I'm sure you've probably seen them but a lot of people don't know about them. We wanted to let you guys know this is something that we actually use. Um, this is something that we actually use and actually enjoy. We're on our phone 24-7. We are obviously <laughs> social media people so we uh -huh. need, I drop my phone like crazy so this helps yeah. me so much especially like if I'm taking a picture a or if I'm like just holding it in general like it's just a good grip like on your phone and I'm not like sliding off. I've broken my phone so many times so this has definitely helped me. We want to make sure you guys check out the new pop tops and pop grips only at popsockets.com. Um, I've also seen them at a lot of like local stores in like the mall. Mm -hmm. And yo, you'll see them almost everywhere. But for sure, go to popsockets.com and you can get a swappable grip and be like us. And actually, we have a bunch of swappable grips that we want to give away to you guys because we feel like we've never actually done a giveaway. This is the perfect <laughs> thing that we can do because this is something that is actually useful to yeah. people our age and anybody that has a phone. Like, this is something that you actually want to use. So, we'll give away how many? 10. Give away 10. All you gotta do is obviously watch the video, like the video, check out Pop Sockets, just comment, just make a yeah, comment. Just make a comment if you want one. Just make a comment if you want one. We'll randomly pick 10 people and we will send it out to you. You'll be contacted and it'll be sent out to you. And you could be like us. And never drop the phone. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So now on to the stories. If you guys don't know what sleep paralysis is. Um, this is a description of it. Simply put, it's like a state where you're still awake consciously like you're still conscious but your body's asleep and you go into this state of like you start to see things because you're kind of like in a dream state but also awake and it's kind of weird but carla has a story that she always talks about and i talk about it the day it happens she talked about it for at least two weeks though because at least two weeks and we're gonna tell you tell your story okay please so <laughs> from okay. the very beginning of how it even okay. came about so it all started because i don't know if you guys watched the nun or if you guys saw about the nun the movie and that's how it all basically started so when the preview the trailers came out they started coming out and i was like so shook and i was like oh my gosh this is about to be a scary movie you know it was just a normal day you know when you get ads on youtube and it came on 
I'm pretty sure it came on that night that I had it. So it came on, and I come from like a Catholic background, so you know, nuns for us were like, oh, you know, low key, the Catholic Church should be kind of scary, and they make stories about the Catholic Church. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is so relatable. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be scared. So I'm like, I've already told Kim, and I was like, I'm gonna go watch that movie, like, I wanna watch it, whatever. I go to sleep, just like my regular. Regular day, I start dreaming in my dream. I still remember my dream very vividly. There's this orange, like tinted window, this huge window, and I see like a shadow, but I don't know what it is. And I'm waiting for the nun, like in my head, I'm waiting for her to pop up. So, in my dream, this is still my dream. So, you haven't had the thing, and that, that I, I, the sleep paralysis hasn't happened to me yet. And sleep paralysis paralysis has happened to me before but it's never been something like an image or anything like that I just like <laughs> had sleep paralysis I didn't see anything but this time it was way different so in my dream I'm still sleeping I see this orange window I'm waiting for the lady to pop up like I don't know I don't know why and then I see her and at that time when I when she comes up in my dream I wake up and I'm like letting you know our Amon's like his back is to me and I'm sleeping like my I'm sleeping towards his back basically. So all I feel is like I'm up and I literally can feel like you know how the nun has this cape? Like I don't even know how it's called. Like I literally feel her behind me like if someone was like holding me from the back, like holding me like this. And like I feel it and I can't move and I'm like Cayman's I can see Cayman and I'm like and I'm literally trying to talk to him. I'm like, babe. I was like, knocked out. I don't know what you're saying. And about. I was like, I couldn't even like get the words out. And then after that, it even gets worse because I start seeing like scribbles in front of me. Like it was the weirdest thing. I started seeing like scribbles, you know, like when people scribble in their notebook or whatever. And it was like a picture of her and there was like X's on her eyes. And it was the weirdest thing because I could see my room. I was like in my room. I'm like. I can literally see everything in my room and I can't get up, I can't move, I can't, I can barely like even keep my breath going, like, I was so, and then at some point I was like, in my head I was like, I need, she needs to get off of me, like I need to like fight her, in my head I was like, I need to fight her, so I start going like, in my head, I don't know if I'm, I was actually doing this in my actual state I was in, I don't know if I was actually doing this, but I was like, going like this, to like, fight her off of me, and then I'm like, but, and like at the same time I was like calling babe, but I couldn't spit it out. And I was in my head, I was so mad at him because he couldn't hear me. Oh, I was sweet. so pissed. But then at some point I just get up and I'm like, <gasps> I wake up like out of breath and everything. And I'm like, cr like I'm crying. I'm just like, oh my God. And I, he was still asleep. So I wake up and I'm like, babe. My, I just had this dream and it was so vivid and it was so and I started telling him about it he's like he was just like ignoring me okay first of all when you're dead asleep you don't like you be so asleep that you don't even realize when somebody's saying it like you know how you're dead asleep and somebody comes in your room like hey what's up you like ah so I was like ah and she was telling me I didn't but I think that you on I couldn't honestly like speak still in my sleep after that I was like oh my gosh I'm not watching that movie I was just like oh my gosh so I grew up on like in like Catholic churches and stuff like that so to me it was like very relatable and I think that's why I got so into my head and so when the week of it coming out my mom was like don't go watch it because I told my mom about it I told my brother about it <laughs> I told everyone in my family about it <laughs> and so my mom was like you don't you dare go watch that movie you're gonna get more traumatized you're gonna have more sleep paralysis like just let it go it comes the day of the movie comes out and I'm like I'm just gonna watch it because I want to face my fears movie wasn't even that scary and I watched it and it was so it was so whack yeah that's the end of my story <laughs> she was traumatized for a little bit but I think I think the key to sleep paralysis is facing your fear I think like your hidden fear in your mind is kind of what kind of appears in your sleep paralysis experience. So for her, she felt like there was a nun there. And then for my story, I'll start off with my story. Um, so I'm at my homie Derek's house. This is like three or four years ago. And at this time, like I had the choice of like being in the living room on the couch or like having like an air bed in his room. So like obviously I just went in his room with an air bed because like we couldn't be loud in the down downstairs. So like basically, I'm sleep and I like my sleep. Like I never really have problems with sleep paralysis. I'm not really scared of like, I don't sleep with the door open or anything. Like I have to have like at least a TV on and stuff like that. But like all that was still on, but I'm laying down and I go to sleep like any other day. And like 
The thing about sleep paralysis and you'll realize it's happening is like, for me, it happens when I wake up to go pee or something, like, or I wake up a lot because Carla like wakes me up or something. After I get like back to going back to sleep, that's when it starts to happen because your body's going back into that sleep state. So like, as I'm going back to sleep in this situation, I realize that like, I'm asleep, but I'm not asleep. Just laying there, but like, you can't move, you can't, you just like, are, you can like, you feel like you can move your eyes. And it's also weird because you feel like you can low-key see yourself sleep. Like, you can low-key see like, around you too. It's like, you see like, first person, you see like, third person as well, if that makes sense. I'm laying there, and I'm like, whoa, like, I can tell, like, I'm like, whoa, this is weird. Like, I legitimately can't move. But I look over, mind you, his bed's like, I'm on the ground, and his bed's like, hella high up, so he can't even see me down there, like, struggling or anything. So I, I'm like, looking, and I'm just like, yo, I really can't move. In this situation, like, you almost feel like a presence of like, and this is real, like, you almost feel like a presence of something in the room, like, not your friend or your whatever, like, you feel like it's something there that's not supposed to be there. So I'm just like, yo, like, this there's definitely something here and so like I'm trying to move to look but I can't really move to look and it's one of the things where like I'd rather just close my eyes and not even see but like I couldn't even do that so like I'm looking and I'm trying to find this thing because I want to at least know what it is and I look over and like I wouldn't say I could tell what it was but it was just a, a shadowy figure like a figure that I didn't know what it was but I knew it scared me like I was definitely scared of it so like to me I'm thinking to myself like is this like a bad karma thing like am I a bad person or something like what did I do I'm like is this what happened before you're about to die or something I was just like I really couldn't do anything and it was like the, the scariest I've ever like experienced. I think a lot of the sleep paralysis stories like you have like a shadowy figure in the room it's that, always that that's yeah. there like trying to get you or something like that. And I think it was playing on my fear of like I don't know. I don't I don't want nothing like that in my room while I'm trying to sleep or something, yeah. right? So it happens and I try to wake up. I can't wake up. But eventually like you kind of just fall asleep and it goes away. Yeah. For me, it just fell asleep. I, I fell asleep. I didn't way. go back to sleep. I woke up. I was like, I was so traumatized. I was like, no, she's coming. Oh my god. And to me, it was her. Like I knew my shadow was apparently the nun or something. So for you, it was like the black shadow. Mine was like me thinking in my head. Like I got too into my head. And I do personally, as in. I'm a person that just gets into their head a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I think that also triggered it, like me watching the trailer and me thinking like, oh my gosh, like this is really scary. And then I was like probably thinking about it and like the shadow to me was on top of me, like trying to like, I don't know, kill me or something. Like they make so many movies about like spiritual things, things that are like in a presence, but you can't see them. I feel like when you're asleep or I don't know, I just, I, that's what makes me kind of believe in them more because like, how, how else would someone come up with all these, mm -hmm. all these movies and yeah, all these things? I feel like there's something to it. I feel like when you're also asleep, you're like also like a more vulnerable like person. person. Like you're just open to like whatever stuff is out there. I feel like when you're asleep is like the opportune time to like yeah. mess with you or like even when I'm asleep and I wake up with the pimple, I'm like, yo, where did, where did this, it only came overnight. It never comes like during the middle of the day. <laughs> if you haven't noticed that, it comes in the middle of the night. Like and you wake yeah. up with the pimple, like you wake up hella sick like you just or yeah i wake up sick it's like, like today. what is going on here like attack me during the day so i could attack you back but it's like it only happens when i'm asleep so honestly like now when i have it like i haven't had it recently but i low-key had one because we watched a movie on it too like and i kept thinking about it so i had it and I, I knew what it was when it happened so like i literally like fought my way out of it almost mm -hmm. and now i'm like the type like Anytime I feel like it's coming, I want to just fight whatever's in there. Like, yeah. when I have that mentality, like, it doesn't scare me anymore. But Yeah. The very, fir very first time I had sleep paralysis was, like, and I never had a vivid image of anything. I just, I was, like, like, sleeping, like, straight on. And I felt like someone was just holding me back from getting up. But I don't, it was nothing, like, I was traumatized by it, but I was, like, this is, th that happened to me, like, when I was really, really, really young. And it's recent, that one that I just talked about and just recently happened a couple when the nun came out or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I kind of knew what it was when I was in the state of it. Then that's why I was like trying to like low key fight it. Because I wasn't scared, like me up, I wasn't scared <laughs> of the whole situation. Like I knew what it was, but I was like, why is she on me? Like I don't like people on me. Yeah. Just like that. But I'll yeah. you on that one. That was basically my story about it. Yeah, those are our stories. I haven't had it. I hope I don't have it because that that's just, that is scary. I don't like it. I know some people have it a All lot. All the time. So if you're out there, actually, if you're out there and you guys have sleep paralysis stories, I actually want to hear some of them in Me the too. comments or like 
send us a, like a snap or like a story or whatever, like, however you want to do it, just tell us about your story. Yeah. Because I want to hear them too because like they're really interesting to see what people go through. Go through, yeah. And there's people that go through sleep paralysis like every night. Like yeah. I would not want to even go to sleep. It's like a disorder, almost. That happened to me personally. Like. You'd be scared to go to sleep, basically. Yeah, I'd be so scared to go to sleep. I'd be like, nope. You're just getting disturbed every night. Yeah, and but at the same cool. time, you need to sleep. So, yeah. it just sucks. It is scary. It's a very scary feeling. Those are our stories, and I hope you guys enjoyed them. They weren't, like, super long or extra, extra, but I, would, I hope it's, like, straight to the point. Like, sleep paralysis is a scary thing, and if you've had it, you know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Before the video's over, again, we want to give a big thanks to Pop Sockets for these swappable grips. And don't forget, we're giving away 10 of them. So, all you got to do is go in the comment and tell us if you want. So, depending on when this video is up, we will pick the winner three days after. So, you got three days to comment. Comment as many times as you want. Say if you want a swappable grip, and then we might choose you and you'll be in the swappable grip team like in the us. squad and you can hold your phone and be really <laughs> not you know like when you when you lay in your bed and it drops on your head that's the, <laughs> worst. the worst no it's hit me sometimes in my like lip it busted her lip and the camera cut off <laughs> but yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and depend well you should also comment what else you want to see from us so let she us don't know, know what y'all want to watch I, I always know <laughs> let us know what you guys want to watch down below whether it's whatever you guys want to know. Whether it's challenges, about, challenges, stories, experiences, stories, relationship advice. Food wise, we haven't done a food. Real vlogs, long. food. If you like the mukbang, if you like traveling. Traveling. You want to see us get married. That's going to be a minute, but. 